It's the hour of truth for Chancellor Angela Merkel. Would the delegates from her coalition vote yes with their blue cards? The ballot on the Euro rescue package is the biggest challenge yet for her coalition government halfway into its legislative period. Votes cast 611. Yes votes 523. An overwhelming victory. So the Chancellor's majority is intact. The coalition has pulled together again. I feel relieved because this majority is a powerful signal to other countries in Europe and beyond and to the international markets. This makes it clear that Germany stands by its European obligations. Germany guarantees 211 billion euros for the debt-ridden eurozone countries. Many other EU countries agreed to the rescue package earlier, but it wasn't clear whether Germany would be on board. The FDP in particular balked at the idea. Before the vote, FDP party chairman Philipp Rössler tried to set a clear course. People have lost trust. And it's bad for politics as a whole. Because people have lost confidence that Europe is good for them, that it's the right direction. And so we have to do everything to recover that trust. Restoring trust is precisely what the opposition says the government can't do. You and your government, Madam Chancellor, lack the most important political quality in times of danger, trust. And trust grows out of conviction and justification, out of consistency and recognizability. And that's exactly what your government lacks. The world is watching this country. If it relied solely on the current government, it would be lost. The reason our neighbors can rely on Germany is that there is an opposition that is aware of its responsibility and that is reliably pro-Europe. While the opposition backs the Euro rescue package, it was long unclear whether the Chancellor could muster a majority from her own coalition. You ought to be able to take it for granted in this critical phase that the Chancellor's majority is stable and that individual opinions take a back seat. Of course, the route to be taken has to be discussed, and that was done very thoroughly. But then the common decision ought to be backed by the coalition parties. But it can't be taken for granted in this government, even if everything looked so good at the beginning. These images are from two years ago, but those happy days have long since faded. Harmony soon gave way to resignation. The FDP posted its best election results ever, and that led them to stride off on their own, overconfident. This is a completely new constellation, a new structure, and it clearly didn't do this coalition any good. The fact that the FDP chairman went straight to the press after coalition negotiations and announced that the FDP had achieved all its demands wasn't popular with conservative voters. The most important issue for the FDP was lowering taxes, and they never tired of repeating their favorite demand. And now we'll make sure that unburdening the citizens will make state finances healthy again. The FDP soon had to abandon the idea of lowering taxes with more pressing issues on the agenda. After the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan, Germany resolved to abandon nuclear power. No other country has turned around as fast on this issue. Another issue was dropping military conscription, a controversial topic for decades until suddenly a conservative minister from Bavaria abolished it. His CSU party had previously clung to the draft. Additionally, the coalition could also claim credit for a solid economic upswing. This recovery is not an economic miracle, but it's an extra large upswing. German industry has recovered well, and even unemployment is low, but this hasn't helped the government. What's astonishing is that this recovery of the German economy, which is very remarkable in an international comparison, hasn't been attributed to the governing coalition. It's seen more as primarily an achievement of industry, the companies, but also the employees who were willing to scale back their demands. 
All in all, the once popular chancellor has lost support over the last two years. Now her polls are only average. And yet the coalition's strategy during the crisis has been to follow the same agenda. Bamboo bends in a storm but doesn't break. I think we have good preconditions for a successful second half of the conservative liberal coalition in this legislative period. With the vote on the Euro rescue package, the Chancellor has managed to rescue the coalition, but it's only half time for her government's period of legislation.